Hey guys, welcome back to Fuga, Melodies of Steel 2. Last time, we were one second, uh, I'm trying to fix something, not my voice, I'm actually making myself louder. Uh, I wanted to make the game louder, because the game was a bit quiet last time. Uh, anyway, last time we had returned back to Fuga, and, uh, you know, we fought the Bellinos being our only fight for that episode, but we also sold off all of our stuff and are now able to, you know, afford upgrades to the Taranis, so finally we're going to be a little bit stronger. So, now we're heading off to the docks to go ahead and see what's going on next. Now net la petite. Very front. Yeah. So we meet again. Good to see you, lad. <gasps> oh, hey there. Will? Well now, you seem to be in much higher spirits than before. Perhaps the comic pages I, pages I offer you help to some degree. Yeah. Uh, well... Not exactly, no. That's too bad. Maybe this latest issue will be just the ticket next time you find yourself down in the dumps. Or maybe when you're taking a dump. Ask who he really is. Tell me your real name. Yes, I'll do that for no reason. Always happy to get a new issue of the comic pages, but who exactly are you? Why? How do you always have the latest issue the second it's available? <laughs> Why spoil the mystery? I hope you'll enjoy reading this latest issue with your friends. Well, I'd best be off to pen the next ish- uh, I mean, anticipate the next issue. Hmm. Just who the heck is that guy? He's the writer, I guess. That was the giveaway. Alright, strong laborer. Okay, let's talk to the strong laborer. Something got you down, kid. A good, f a good full belly should change that. <laughs> Thanks for your meat, uh, sir. It's an interesting thing to say. Okay, it's time to depart. Your tank is all loaded up, ready to depart. I will do indeed do that. All aboard! As we go off to the next island, where are we headed? Ah, this little stretch of land over here. The statues of the upside down wolf. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just like, huh? I wonder what's going on there. Chapter 7 Forgotten Images. How could you forget them? They were in your pictures folder. <laughs> Whatever the hell that is. Or maybe it was in your photos app. <laughs> Hannah, how is it possible we heard her voice? It sounded like a transmission from somewhere far away. <laughs> no clue what's happening, but... Isn't it possible Jaheel's still holding her captive? Hana disappeared right in front of our eyes when we teleported her over. Hana definitely disappeared. Maybe something miraculous is happening. Hana. I'm sure that was Hana we heard. If there's any chance Hana is still alive, I'm willing to put my faith in it. Same here. Hana's alive. I'm sure of it. I want to see Hana again. Hana. I knew she had to make it out of there somehow. There's so many mysteries in the world that I have yet to comprehend. That's why I'm willing to bet Hannah is still out there. Yeah. Please be alive, Hannah. Please. Hmm. I, for one, never saw Hannah disappear in the first place. Maybe you all got it wrong. <laughs> I think you might be onto something there. <laughs> this is more like it. <laughs> now we're all riding high. Yeah, I mean, I could guess who. <laughs> They're all so cheery. What's wrong with them? Fuga, Melly's Steel 2. I try to remember that. <laughs> oh no. It's the uh, the thing. <laughs> it's Bellinos, but I was trying to come up with a thing to describe it. Jaheel, are you okay? I care about random child. Ugh. My head is pounding. Feels like I'm gradually losing my memories, too. Looks like I am really running out on borrowed time. No. Let's chalk this up to not having piloted the Bellinos in an age and a half. That has to be it. Yes. Time to turn out on turn on aisle pilot and get some sleep before I reach our next stop. <laughs> I'm a little afraid to close my eyes, though. I might not ever open them again. You know, that hits a little bit too close to home, my brother. <sighs> <sighs> you can't 
let him. She's not in, she's not in that tank. She's not in our tank. Don't know where she is, so. Hopefully Hannah's okay. That's the hope. <laughs> that that's the hope of what we're we're trying to get towards. Child has been knocked out or injured. Yes, I am aware. Well, it seems like they should have healed in between the fights. Uh, there's a lot of stuff being asked of me right now, but for now, I should probably take care of whoever the hell wants to rest. Is there anybody else that wanted to rest with him? I'm hungry. I want to have a girls-only sleepover. I can't really have a sleepover when there's like four beds, and I have not upgraded. I mean, even here it describes there is only six beds. Don't worry, you can have a girls only sleepover with Boron. <laughs> you may not be a girl, but you don't judge him based on that, man. See, Boron just leveled up because he slept next to her. Isn't that kind of weird? Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade the workshop. Because it has been in sorrowful need to be upgraded. And there we go. So now we'll just need advanced blueprints and professional tools. Which I guess is, I don't, I think you get those from like, uh, not raids. I mean, uh, what is it? The things. Just doing, be a thing, okay? Be a doll and be a thing for me, okay? Whatever the thing might mean. Man. Oh, Jin's in the picture now. <laughs> Jin's in the picture instead of, uh, uh, Malt. Which makes sense, because he's the actual mechanic. <laughs> instead of, uh... Instead of Malt being the mechanic, not really knowing what he's doing. Alright. <laughs> I just like that. The picture changed. Kyle's part of the image didn't change, but Malt's did. Okay. We're just trying to upgrade everything as it goes along. There's not really an ask for a ton of materials, so it's like... I'm able to do quite a bit of upgrading. Might be a good idea to upgrade both the reactor and the armor as much as possible right now. Oh, Furious Burst leveled up. We're just making vanilla into a beast in this game. There we go. Getting the armor up. And then getting the reactor up again. <laughs> she has a lot of friends, so... Making use of her is actually the best way to make it go as quick as possible. So yeah, then we have the materials to upgrade those. These, not as much, but we should be fine for now. Let's see, what should we make? Who should we make her talk to? Malt Soulful, hmm. Boron. I'm so glad Hannah's still alive. I mean, that's the hope, Boron. That, don't don't get your hopes up. I guess that's the only thing I can say. All right, we've used it all up. Let's head into war. At least now we're feeling better. Did the guns change their look? I think it's because they're all cannons right now. Anyway, we're heading back into the hole. Oh, we have to pay attention to what all of the things do. Let's see. Uh, sure. Now we just need a kill. Killing is cool. And I've always been a big fan. <laughs> I've always been a big fan. There we go. That thing's out of there. They said, don't... They said something about dust. Like, don't breathe in the dust. I don't quite know what they could be meaning. Oh, so that's what it meant. May is afraid. Her accuracy is messed up. Well, I have a way of getting around that. I also could just, you know, pull out the big guns and annihilate them. Since they don't have any armor, so I can just go, like, die. And then maybe you might want to... What? You bastard. There's 90% accuracy there. Grow mushrooms? No, you're not allowed. No, that's that's not allowed. Dude, bad. We're in like the 40s or whatever the hell. I guess it increased their uh, evasiveness. Though I think they just started uh, miniature drug labs in their tanks. In which we need we need that solved. Did I get sassed? I got sab. I don't know if I've gotten sab yet. Alright. On to the... Thing. The expedition. Yeah, I can get more stuff to sell. Uh, Who needs levels? Hack needs levels. Sheena needs levels. And Boron does. So I'm going to send them since they definitely require some more experience. 
Okay. Time for a puzzle. Can't go through here. Why did we send the small child in to kill somebody? Well, uh, pfft. Yes. I'm just like, yes. I am the chief. Let's see. All right. We got some advanced blueprints there. Let's see. Pop. Gold coin. Unless there... Is there any other where to go? Ah. This requires a fire bullet, though. So it's not going to actually be useful. Let me see. Ah. How do we get over... I don't want to use the key yet, though. Uh, but I don't want to use the key. I think you have to walk up and actually, like, press space on it to actually use the key. So, if not, we're just going to make sure that we don't do anything bad here. There we go. Give me a ton of bullets. bibbity bap. Give me that. bibbity bap. Give me that. Now, I don't know how you'd even get to the other parts of this without having to first run by this. Yeah, you have to press space on it to open it up. Bip. Let's go through. Make sure we don't get crushed. Bap. Bap. There we go. Now we got like 12 different like materials, so that's going to be useful. All right. And a bunch of random stuff. Why are we getting all the good materials for the stuff we actually need right now? All right. At least hack leveled up. All right. Which road shall we take? Normal route. Or safe route. It's actually, I'm feeling a bit more adventurous now that we're stronger. I can actually take on the more harder routes because I feel like I, we're just going to be more prepared for it. At least that's my belief. Uh, let's get out him. <laughs> let's get out him. And then switch in that. Does Jin and... Let's see. Ah, just make them work off. Make the boyfriend and girlfriend do the thing. Let's see. Do the thing. I don't want to do the thing. That sucks. You're going to have to do the thing. Got to take out the flying thing. Not the riot. Where I'm going to get in trouble. I'm going to start a fight. I forget what it is. It's just... Is that song just called Riot? I'm going to start a riot. I think that's just the song I sing when I'm, like, screaming at people. I'm going to start a riot. Less of a song and more like a command. Just like, I will start a riot soon. And you will not be very happy with that. I'm going to get in trouble. I'm going to start a fucking riot. <laughs> Why would you do that? Eh, I thought it'd be funny. I thought it'd be funny. Let's see. That works. Let's see. Heal us up. We definitely need it. Uh, yeah. Uh, we could actually use Ballad to heal us up. If only it didn't take so much SP to use. And again, that's why we increase our SP to insane amounts. Uh, which one is more needed to be taken out? I'm not going to be able to take out that thing very soon. Stop it. No riots. I'm a riot cop. Not actually. I am not a cop. I am only up meme. The great meme machine, you may say. Uh... Swift shot, encouraging shot. Uh, let's just attack it. That is the wrong one, but okay. Okay, then that is the wrong one, but no, I'll hit it as well. We're definitely getting a bit wrecked. Wappa sama. You're not. You're not worthy of praise. You're not respectable. You're Wappa. You partake in the Burger King Whopper. That cannot be allowed when you partake in the Burger King Whopper. It just, it just ain't. It just ain't. What'd I get? I got abs. Got abs. I always knew I got abs when I most definitely do not. You, you, you think I have a six pack? I got a one pack, baby. <laughs> Some girls are into that. What can you say? I can't put them down. Let's see. Uh. Yeah, this should be fine, though. I'm going to guess they're going to put us into a battle that is we're going to require all of our skills to be put together to create something magical. Daijobu. Does Daijobu mean, are you okay? I forget. Daichi, translate. Daichi's not watching us. Daichi's not here. 
I can't, I can't like, why you translate? <laughs> why do I, why would I say it to him like that? That's very mean. That's a mean way of asking my friend to read something for me. Daichi, translate! <laughs> it's really mean. Okay, we should probably work on the top side first, just because I know that they're going to be a lot more diggish. Diggish? Diggish. <laughs> uh, let's see. It doesn't really matter which one we hit. We just need to take them out of the air. Let's see. There we go. I don't know. Oh, no. They're going to do one big attack, ain't they? Bop. Okay, well, that's going to take a while. God, it's the stupid acid shit. I remembered that these guys were annoying, so I was like, okay, we should probably take care of them as fast as possible. Let's see. All right, you're not going to hit me. I'm going to be like, here's the band shield. <laughs> no. Damn. You did pack quite a hit. I guess that's why it's called the pack attack. <laughs> no, no Jotaro. No Jotaro is a bad idea. Let's see. Uh, sure. Let's see. Uh, yeah, for some reason, Malt and Wappa don't have relationships yet, so... Should probably make sure that they have a connection with each other. So mess them up. Get a crit on them. Get a crit with your boy, with your boyfriend in tow. So blow them to fucking smithereens. He, but Jim was blown to smithereens. My favorite Half-Life fan fiction next to Half-Life Full Life consequences. Quarter life. But Jim was already blown to smithereens. And we must save Dallas. Why must we save Dallas? I don't, I don't know. Why do I keep on getting birthed by sleep? I don't need to be born by sleep. I was born by death. That makes sense. That makes sense why I am mentally dead all the time. Eh, I definitely got a heal there. All right. All right, all right, all right. Relaxing essence. Great energy cell. They were starting to run across things that are actually strong. Uh, we don't need to call an airship. Uh, the question is, what should we take on? The really hard one? Or should we take on the, uh, the easier one? I'd say we should take on the normal one. We're still not, like, horribly OP yet. So I'm just not, I'm not willing to, to bet our lives on it. But this is... A hell. More. This is more and more like a hell, Tails. More and more like a hell. Let's see. Malt just does not have many good relationships right now, does he? Was he? He has. He has some with some, but not always. Let's see. I'm gonna have to make sure that he's also connected to everybody because he's like the main character. I have to make sure that he's doing things. Yes, you can hurt me, hit me all you want, but. You're gonna die. Oh no, here they come. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, we'll shoot them in the balls. Go ball squad. Shoot them in the balls. Damn, why did... Just for some reason, Hack did a lot of damage right there. Okay, it's a good idea to... Hang on. Here comes something big. Hang on to your balls. Did I just get a text from... No, that's somebody's fucking stupid thing. Somebody's fucking stupid thing. You know me, I hate stupid things. Let's see. They keep on doing the same shit. They're just like, yes, yes, sir. We will gather together. To destroy the destroy the Rebel Alliance. Well, the Rebel Alliance doesn't like you. Can you let the Rebel Alliance destroy you, please? That'd be pretty bonkers. <laughs> When, when things are now poggers. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Memorials? I'm not going to memorials. We're not going to Memorial Day weekend. When is that? I don't know. I forget what month Memorial Day happens in. I don't tend to give much of a shit about that stuff. Speed! Look, I said you had mushrooms earlier. Now you're doing speed. You need to calm down on this shit, little brother. 
You cannot be allowed to be doing mixing speed and mushrooms. Can't be doing an upper and a downer at the same time, brother. It's just it just ain't no good. I don't do drugs, but uh, I know I know about just it's a bad idea to mix uppers and downers. Pretty much you're just uh, I forget. That's not getting crossed. Getting crossed is doing weed and uh, alcohol. But like, would you also call it crossed when you mix other illicit drugs? I mean, weed is not illicit, at least. You know, in parts of the U.S. and alcohol is not illicit anywhere. So, motherfucker, motherfucker, I will fuck your mother if you keep missing. And your father is already dead, apparently. He like he does a little run. Could you please die? <laughs> Could you please do the good die? Um, switch may in. Just because we need a heal. We've been sitting around twiddling our thumbs. Just my uh, twiddling our thumbs up our asses. These stupid assholes. Finally. If we kill them, there's a chance that they can't even do an attack, but I'd rather not chance that. I'd rather not chance that. I'd rather just survive a bit longer. There we go. Alright, let's actually kill them. <laughs> Let's actually kill them this time around, okay? Can we have an agreement on that? There we go. Little tank die. Mother. Oh, God. Well, I guess I'm going to have to fuck your mother, Jin. I think his mother's still alive. Well, that would make me a furry. I must run in fear. I'm only a furry for Digimon. And I guess if you're watching Digimon, not all of them are furries. So. If you ever watch the Digital Mans... CCS, Child Protective Services. Yes, I'm just gonna call it that. Hear about the? Here's more YouTube drama I hear about. Not really drama. It's like actual, like something fucking horrid. Uh, apparently a. Uh, I mean, it's not horrid as, as in this happened. It's horrid that this happened to other people within this person's life. But uh, did you hear about the? Uh, what is it? Uh, the... Uh, I'm trying to describe it in a way. The family YouTube vlogger that got arrested for child abuse recently? Yeah, I, you would think you would hear more stories about this since child fucking uh, stupid ass uh, family vlog channels are like the scourge of reality. But it's like... There was a, uh, a, a family vlogger YouTuber that... Like made like really strict parenting videos or something and then they like made videos about not feeding their children if they forgot to make a lunch for themselves when they were like fucking five i was not making lunch for myself when i was five years old that's a bit too young to ask a child to start taking care of themselves like that and then they would not feed them for the entire day if they went to school without in lunch and so that's just one, like, circumstance. But the circumstance that got them arrested was the, uh, that their, their son had run out of the house into a, like, a neighbor and had begged them to, like, help them because they were malnourished and they had, like, wounds on them. They were extremely malnourished. Apparently, one of the other children had duct tape on their legs, seemingly to stick them together. So... <laughs> It was like fucking, this is a fucking horror story, and it's horrible to hear about. I'm sorry I'm bringing it up now. It's just fascinating that we let people like this on the internet, and we let them just, like, be accomplished. But apparently their channel had already been banned before, and they were just, like, surviving off of podcasts or whatever. But it's like, how do we allow these, like, monsters on the internet? How do you allow a person like me on the internet? That's, a, that's another fucking good question. But it's like, it's just like, how the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> like, like, thank God that they were fucking arrested, like, immediately. I mean, it's kind of hard to, like, you know, put away the allegations with, uh, you know, your child having, like, wounds and being malnourished, and you're the only person that's taking care of them. It's like, that's fucking, that's fucked up. Like, <laughs> I think everybody has to take a fucking second and be like, like, even if you agree with more, like, I guess... 
authoritative parenting. Like, there's some parenting styles where it's authoritative and you're a lot more controlling. Like, that's more successful in other regions of the world. You, you kind of have to agree. You should fucking feed your children and you shouldn't fucking hurt them. That's, like, the greatest sin. People that... Be, uh, child abusers should be fucking euthanized. What can I say? I think you would agree, viewer. Child abusers should be fucking euthanized, even if they're the fucking parents themselves. They, sh they deserve euthanasia. Can we bring back the, uh... Can we bring back the death penalty for these kinds of people? Because they definitely deserve it. Because I bet if that was done to them when they were children, they would not have liked that at all. But, like, because they are no longer children, they can no longer sympathize with the plight of their own children. And that's just, that's just fucked up, man. Don't you see that as fucked up? But I guess nobody had seen it as fucked up at all during these children's upbringings, other than, like, you two people who were... Like, trying to tell YouTube, like, this person is, this, like, YouTuber is completely fucked up. Like, why are YouTubers, like, YouTube watchers, the only people that can, like, even figure out that, like, people are being abused? Why does it always have to be YouTube that gets something fucking done? It's not even YouTube themselves. But in this situation, I guess they did, because they actually banned them off. But it's like, that didn't stop them. Apparently, they were still being successful. It's just like... How do we allow people like this to be successful on the internet? They should be fucking erased from it. They should be fucking thrown out as pariahs. <laughs> Horrible pariahs to this fucking everything. It's just like, how the hell did anybody think this was okay? Who the fuck, who the fuck at like the FBI or the police were like, oh, well, you know, all of these people telling us that like this woman is abusing her children and they have video evidence, ah, let's just fucking ignore them. Like, I know innocent before proven guilty, but it's like... <laughs> when when you don't make that courtesy, like, when you're supposed to make a call to Child Protective Services, even if it's, like, kind of outrageous, they still need to make an actual, like, courtesy check-in. Like, even if it seems out of, like, out of, like, this world, like, they still have to make a check-in. And how did they not see anything being wrong there? Like, who the fuck at Child Protective Services needs to get fired <laughs> so that these fucking children don't get fucking abused again? It's like, how can this fucking be? How can this fucking be, government? How can this be, America? How could you let this fucking happen? It's like, I have no idea, but... You know, the moral of the story is, uh, if you abuse kids, uh, you should go to hell. You should literally burn in hell down there with fucking... All the other child abusers in the world, like, you should, you should literally just be fucking, you should die. <laughs> like, I know that's a little bit of a, a big statement, like, oh, you should fucking die, but I think you guys can agree with me. People who abuse children should not be allowed to have children, for one, and should not be allowed to live after the kinds of stuff that they pulled. That's just like, <sighs> I mean, it might be too much to say, but it's like, that's definitely what I believe, like, people like that should just, like, get no sympathy. No sympathy. No sympathy from this devil, I would say. Leadership skill. There you go. Get back up, everybody. But yeah, it's like, sorry to bring up so some, something so dark, but I wanted to try and, though my platform is nowhere near big enough to even make any kind of difference, I just want to I want my own opinions to be known. Child abuse in any way should never, ever, ever be condemned. Like, being as I've learned psychology for, like, six years of my entire life, and I've learned so much about child childhood development that it's like, <laughs> the things I've learned about and how messed up you can be if you get messed up as a child. Like, the things I've learned from my time it's like <sighs> like they should parents like I don't this shouldn't be like a governmental thing and I'm not trying to be political here I think the idea of making sure that children don't get abused is something every political spectrum can hopefully agree with they can hopefully agree on that but like there should be like some way like like you need to be taught like don't fucking abuse your child just don't do that. There should be something doing that. Like, fucking, I don't know, if you're going to have a kid, the government should force you to take a class where it's like, 
Okay, don't fucking punch your kid in the fucking face. Don't whip them. <laughs> don't spank them. Don't malnourish them for weeks on end and say it's their fault. It's like, uh, <laughs> isn't that isn't that weird? I'm just gonna get demonetized for talking about this, but it's like, uh. Also, Dragon Ball Super. I hate that show. I like Dragon Ball GT more, and that's a weird thing to say for a lot of people. But it's like, I do like GT a bit more. I definitely say Dragon Ball Z is better. It's like what I like versus what is better. <laughs> Not always the same. Not always the same, but yeah. Sorry to get so dark. I just wanted to like, uh, you know, let you guys know that this is happening or that this happened, and that uh, I I just people should not be abusing their kids. I bet you'd agree, viewer. I'd hope you'd agree. <laughs> I will gaslight you into agreeing because that's probably a good stance to take. Like uh, like other shit. Like don't fucking. Drive on the wrong side of the road. Don't kick people in the balls uh, or the ovaries randomly. <laughs> like, just like, it's some of these things that you probably should, you know, follow up on. Uh, anyway. Hey, Vanilla. Got a second to chat? I guess. I really just want to be left alone, though. I got the feeling you've been avoiding us for a while now. Do we do something to avoid to offend you? It's just... No. It's nothing. I'm I'm sorry if it feels like I'm... I've been acting strange lately. Let's see. Uh... If there's something going on, you can always talk to me. No need to apologize, you know. Just tell me what you're really feeling. This one. You were all friends with Hannah. It's only natural you would all be so excited if she might be alive. My father is gone. He's not coming back. I lost my mother and my tutor, Kenane, who may still as well been my, who may as well have been my family, in an accident half a year ago. The only family I have now left now is my sister, and the military keeps her so busy we hardly see each other. When I saw how happy you all were, I couldn't th help but think about my father. I just didn't want to spoil the mood. I'm sorry. We didn't consider how you must be feeling. No. I should be happy right alongside with you. I hope and pray that Hannah is safe out there. Thanks, Vanilla. Fuga, Melly's steel too. A little bit... Oh, what the... Oh, no. Meanwhile, elsewhere. Gasco Army Headquarters, Pharaoh. Any word on the children or those giant tanks? There have been no signs of the runaway Taranis and the children that pursued it in the Tarascus, nor the giant, the two giant tanks that appeared the other day. So basically, the latest intel we have are sightings of, of the two giant tanks? Affirmative. One of the tanks was confirmed to have used Berman artillery units against villages and ports in, in its mm. path. The other tank, a taranis esque vehicle piloted by the children, Seem to be engaged. Seem to engage those hostile units in combat. Mm. And Mistress Vanilla is on board with them. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Yeah. No need to apologize, Lieutenant. Or, I I don't know how they say it in Fran in France. <laughs> I'd say the children have more than earned a reprieve from the war, though. Let us mobilize to fight against this enemy threat in their stead at once. <sighs> Understood, sir. Mm. I know you must be worried about your sister, but she'll be fine as long as she's with those kids. Hi. Thank you, sir. I'll continue my attempts to contact them. Her father gone, her sister, her last remaining relative, constantly embroiled in war. My heart aches for the young mistress. To think you would leave your children behind so soon. You, were, you weren't even a soldier, Shane. You shouldn't have had to die that way. If only Kenny were still alive to help teach and guide Vanilla in her time of need. Hmm. So, Shane... Is her father and Shanin is somebody. I'm not sure. It looked maybe like an uncle. Interesting. So, I guess this completely confirms that Vanilla's father is dead. I had thought that maybe he would have been alive, just because we didn't actually see the body. And that could still be the still be the case. But for now, we have no evidence to say that he actually is alive. So, that's kind of sad. We're missing one professional tools to upgrade this workshop to level 
five or level four. I might want to do that. Uh, this is where you can check your children's replacement battle. Any changes will be reflected in the next battle. So this just sets up that. I'm trying to go to the area that would actually start off a uh, start off an expedition because we do need professional tools. We could go back and do this, but it costs five. I might just go do this again. Take in people that need some more experience. Uh, anybody else need a bit more? I guess we can just put hack, uh, chicken hack in there. Let's see. Just because we need a couple more blueprints to make this thing work all the way. It'd be a good idea to, you know, have complete mastery over this shit. Make sure the tank is completely ready to do anything it can. So we've got a crushing wall. Just book it. <laughs> I know you're fat, but you gotta run fast. When you're fat and you gotta run fast, that's a that's a that's a predicament right there. This thing won't open until we switch something on. Uh, come on, boy, gotta run. <laughs> I wonder if it really does control how slow he might be. Uh, I'm just checking to see if everything is. This requires fire bullets, so this wouldn't work. Okay, so the forward strike is this way. And there we go. Just seeing this man with his fucking bullet. Okay. So now we have to open up the uh, the all-seeing ball. There we go. Somewhere a door has opened. Somewhere the door has opened to your heart, my friend. Don't uh, at Chuck E. Cheese, you may even say. If you do not take me to Chuck E. Cheese in the next five days. I will die. Let's not use it on these ones. These ones are most definitely not what it's asking for. Come on. We'll be able to get more bullets past the fire gate. Bibbidi bop. Bibbidi bop. Alright, pick up as many bullets as possible. Alright, we got the professional tools we need. Definitely gonna have a very powerful workshop. I wonder if it I wonder how many levels the workshop goes into. I don't think I've ever attempted to did I max it out in the last game? It's been so long since I last played it and going back to watch that old playthrough. Sure my commentary is good, but it's like at the same time, very choppy Yatta. gameplay. Let's see. Yatta. Let's see. Yatta? Like Yatagarasu? Crow? Ah, oh, we got the SSS. Yum shot leveled up. Mm. Increases all that. Increases all that. I guess he wanted to get stronger, so that works out for him. Anyway, I wanted to... Should probably switch the characters up, since I've had Vanilla do all of the upgrading, meaning she's getting a ton of experience, when probably we should be distributing it a bit more. Hmm. Okay, so now we can expand. Let's get that expanded. This doesn't cost anything and just can instantly happen. So it goes up to level 5. I wonder if 5 is its max or... I don't actually know. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Can't get the can... Oh yeah, we can get the cannon upgraded. I was like, why isn't that... Why isn't it show up? But it's like, oh, I'm just being stupid and not reading it. How to not read with your man Frozen Breebs. Let's see, what should be upgraded first? Probably cannons, since they do the most damage. Let's see. Then, this. Ah, uh, Mystical Veil leveled up. Now, finally, last thing we can upgrade for now is this. Alrighty then. Yes, Kyle. Man, everybody wanted to do some upgrades, didn't they? Alright, and then Vanilla wanted to talk to somebody, so let's go ahead and let her talk. We really made her the strongest just because of this. Sheena wanted some girl talk, so we'll go ahead and talk to her with uh, this. It's nice to hear Hannah's voice again. Must be kind of sad for Vanilla, knowing that everybody is talking about having their friend back while her dad is just dead. <laughs> at least confirmed at this point, but I guess you never know. We shall never truly know. All right. The statues of the Upside Down Wolf were back once again. Were we here once? I don't remember. See, a chance to deepen your bond. Do you have need of me? I depend on you. 
It's nice to feel of use to others. I mean, I guess. Sometimes I just want to feel completely useless, but it's whatever. Anyway, we're going to end the episode here. So, next time on Fuga, Melees of Steel 2, we're going to go ahead and take on... I don't know if we'll be able to take on the rest of this chapter, though we'll get pretty far into it. And before I end this episode, I want to thank all of my YouTube members, including the Disciples of Epsilon, Phoenix, 100,000 Triggers J, Shell Bagon and Hummus, Darcy Lanfranco, Stardrum, The Sword is Still in the Stone, Crimson, Freddy, and Yuki. Without you all, this channel wouldn't stay afloat. So thank you for all your support, and I'll see you guys next time!